I think the reason why so many people dislike marketing and sales is because the foundational metaphors are not ones that we would typically use to treat other people. So marketing really has a couple of foundational metaphors. One is marketing is like war. I mean, really, if you uh, look at Madison Avenue, the big advertising agencies that are trying to dominate market share, um, I've, what I've, from what I've heard, some of these agencies actually have their planning rooms, their strategy rooms, are called war rooms because they're trying to beat the competition. Uh, they're trying to capture our mind share and dominate the market. And so this is why we feel that there's something not quite right with how marketings and marketers and marketing companies treat us. They treat us like we are lemmings to be conquered, right? And to be dominated and directed. Uh, another metaphor that is popular with internet marketing is the idea of, pr uh, of predator and prey. We as consumers are like the prey and they, the marketers, are like the predators. They are trying to give us bait for opting in, for getting our email address. It's, they, they literally call it a bait. Okay, what's your bait? What's your free bait that you're giving out? Um, they talk about tripwires. So when we buy something that's low price, it's considered a tripwire so that they can then use higher price items to try to get us to spend more money. Um, there's, I've, I've become so accustomed to it that uh, it's, it's so obvious to me whenever I see much of marketing is predatory. It's trying to trick us and uh, persuade us uh, against our own will sometimes to, to, to buy stuff. This is why we feel uncomfortable with it. Um, another analogy for marketing uh, that sometimes I've been guilty of using this analogy but I'm going to stop using it is this, is this thought of that it's kind of like dating. We're trying to first go on a first date and then after that, you know, go on a weekend outing and then get married. But sometimes the whole dating analogy can also be predatory. I mean, the whole dating industry, um, a lot of people feel like there's, it's not quite ethical. And I don't know a whole lot about that industry, but that's what I've, that's what I've heard. So let me give you a healthier metaphor for marketing. I can actually think of two and you can use either one that feels right to you. One metaphor is marketing as farming instead of hunting, right? Hunting the predator. So marketing with, as farming is imagine you are planting seeds and then you are nurturing those seeds and watering them. You're taking care of, of a farm. You're taking care of, of plants. And then when it's the right time, then you harvest. You don't try to force things by pulling the young plant from the ground and checking it's like, how come you're not growing faster? How come you're not ready to convert? Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Another unhealthy um, marketing metaphor is it's like, it's like a religious conversion, right? So they, they're, they're talking about literally what can we do to convert more visitors into clients? Uh, we're talking about how can you um, uh, uh, indoctrinate. Literally, marketers use this term indoctrination as what they're trying to do when you first sign up their the email list. They send you a series of emails called indoctrination. They're trying to indoctrinate you into their framework and etc. And I understand and I, I, I respect the idea of education, but I really don't like the idea that somehow we're trying to, that we have the one and only way and we're trying to make other, everybody else who signs up to our list believe in our one and only way and, um, and then treat us like gurus so that we can totally control their minds and control their behaviors, right? This is why I always tell people, I don't want to be anybody's guru. I want you to have the most free will that you can, make your decision. Uh, I want to educate you from just, this is what I believe, this is what I've seen to be true, but you need to take whatever you learn from other people and from your own life experience to make your own decisions as a result. So, so back to a healthier uh, metaphor. Farming is a healthy metaphor, so think about that. Um, and also another metaphor that I've been playing with is this idea of marketing as making friends. Marketing as developing friendships. It's just a nice feeling to it. 
um, we don't try to convert our friends into particular religions. I know some people try to do that, but um, we don't try to dominate our friends and make them think just the way we do. We try to be there for our friends. We try to be helpful to our friends. Um, and we try to invite friends to some things that are fun you know, together, right? To kind of invite them into, a, into an experience together because we care and we believe that they're going to have a good time and that together we're going to have fun together. So um, I'll say more in the notes uh, below this video, but I just wanted to kind of share these, these metaphors and hopefully you'll find one that feels really good to you and that'll help you to shape your marketing activity going forward so that your audience um, uh, enjoys your presence even more.